Khabib, how's it going, brother? Yeah, I'm very good, very good. It's an honor to have you on the show, man. Yeah, a big round of applause. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, we are. We are. We're, you're here with uh, me, T Rex, and another girl from uh, from uh, around your area, Marina Shafir. Hi. Oh, uh, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> please, please, guys, uh, please, no speak speed. Oh, very good. A yes. little, little bit slow, please. Brivet. No problem. No problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Cock the lot. Now, Khabib. Okay, thank you so much. Now, Khabib, yeah. I was looking at some of your uh, your fights. Have you ever lost a round? In mixed martial arts. Uh, what? What? What's it? What's it? What's it? No, no, no. Listen. No, right? Never, never. You never, never lost. You never lost one round in twenty-two fights. Uh, why? I, think I never. I never lost one minute. You never lost one minute Ooh, in twenty-two yeah, fights. Yes. Why are you yes, not? No the, why are you not the number one contender? I am number one contender, and everybody knows this. And Dana White knows this. Lorenzo Fertitta knows this. Joe Silva knows. This. Everybody knows this. I am number one contender after that action. What do you think there? No, of? no Benson. No Benson. Benson lose. Eddie Alvarez lose. Cowboy Sanon lose a lot of time. I beat Rafael Dos Anjos. And after Melendez, you know who number one contender. After Melendez. Wow. Now, now, how do you think a fight... What do you think happens... Okay, let's say Pettis beats Melendez, which I think is going to happen. No, no offense, Gilbert. It's going to be a good fight. I like both of them. What do you think happens between you uh, and Pettis? Or even you and Gilbert? What do you, how do you think the, that, that, that fight goes? You know, if I have a fight versus Pettis, I think he fights 25 minutes. All the time he fights. And uh, I know he's a very good striker. Very good kick, but uh, I don't think he's, he has very good boxing. He has very good kick, only have very good kick, no bad experience. He champ, you know, but I am I am another level. And my pressing, my top control, my wrestling, my spirit, I think is uh, very bad for him. And if I, if I have fight versus uh, um, Pettis, I think he fight all the time. Mm. The whole fight. The whole fight he fights. So you, you think it'll go 25 minutes? No, he said he flies. I, I say he flies. Fly. Oh, he, oh, he like, flies. Like, like, like chicken. Like chicken. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> he flies the whole time like a chicken. He flies. He flies. I am running. Ingo, you know? I am Ingo. And I think uh, now I have, you see my last two, three fights. Everybody, guys, fly. Uh, now I have in USA Octagon, New Eagle Ireland. You have, you have Eagle Island because you just throw yeah. guys around. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Now, uh, now let's we'll talk about your uh, where you grew up. You actually grew up in uh, Dagestan, which Dagestan seems to have great fighters come out of there. What is it about Dagestan that's producing all these great fighters? You know, I am in Dagestan. Uh, I am born Dagestan. I am from Dagestan. I love Dagestan. For me, it's number one to place in da- Dagestan. But for me, need. Living in U.S., my rehab, my knee, my language is in U.S. very good. Uh, I'm living in Dagestan all the time. I prefer my wrestling time. In my city, have seven Olympic champion gold medalists, freestyle wrestling. And Dagestan, number one place, freestyle wrestling in the world. And, uh, you know, all guys in Dagestan have very good background, wrestling background. And... Uh, if I am Dagestan, I prepare my wrestling. I come U.S., I prepare my top control and striking and my language, too. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> I, 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 li- I like mix Dagestan and, and uh, U.S. It's, I think it's very good for me. Yeah, they can't handle your, dag- the, your daggy style. <laughs> <laughs> Can't handle your daggy style. I love that. <laughs> now, um, now, now, your father was a black belt and a world champion fighter, correct? No, well, my father, uh, my father, young, uh, he student in Ukraine. Uh, he before he young guy, he training in Ukraine. He champ freestyle wrestling, Dagestan, and he champ sambo and judo. Ukraine national national champ, Jesus. and he had very good mix judo, sambo, freestyle, and he training training with me. He trained me 
all, all my all my uh, wife and you know my father for me is number one and uh, he he very motivate for me and uh, he control my diet he control my discipline my training everything um, if i know him father i uh, i think i am no fighter but um, Thank you so much, my father. My father for me is number one. Yeah, well, he did. That's, a, he, that's awesome. He did a great job. Now I have to ask though. There's a video of you fighting a bear, uh, <laughs> and like you're like I think you're eight years old and you're wrestling a bear. Uh, was that safe? Isn't that kind of <laughs> dangerous? You know, it's dangerous. But before you know, you see this video is young bear, young Habib, and uh, I think now this bear is very old. But uh, I very miss this beer, but I don't know where this beer. This video in Zo in Caucasus, and um, I know for I know forget where this video. But I'm very young guy, and uh, you know it's crazy video, funny video. I like this video. <laughs> <laughs> now you you submitted the bear twice uh, by rear naked choke. <laughs> uh, did the bear want a rematch? Maybe, maybe Bill won't very much, but you know now Bill understand. I am number one contender, like it. <laughs> you see, and I I think he's a li- little bit, see, a little bit scared. He, he understand now. He all oh, I am number one contender. It's no good match for him. <laughs> <laughs> now, wh- who do you think wins, Pettis or the Bear that you beat? I think Bill smashing. <laughs> <laughs> you you see, Bill, Bill, this Bill is no easy. It's no easy money, you know. This Bill, he take, take me down three, four times. You know, it's very tough Bill. This Bill <laughs> very bad for oh, Anthony Pettit, I think. It's, it's true, it's true. Uh, we have the bear here, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 bear, do you think that you can be... Do you think you could be Khabib Bear? <laughs> I don't know. That the bear seems like he's hungry. He, uh... <laughs> hey, give, give, give your address. I come now. <laughs> wow. I don't know. It's, 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 it's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Now, uh... if you give... If you give me others, I come now and you you see my my wrestling match was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now now you now you uh Khabib you you famously had a T-shirt that said uh, Sambo is better than Jiu-Jitsu, right? Yes, yes. Now, do you believe that? I believe that. You know, I am two-time combat Sambo world champion and. Uh, I believe combat sambo style better for BJJ uh, for MMA, and I think BJJ is no bad, you know. But a lot of BJJ guys lose in UFC. He no have uh, good uh, good takedown, and but he have very good underground, you know. But if BJJ and combat sambo mix, I think it's very tough. Yeah. But I think BJJ, BJ, um, combat sambo style better for MMA. I mean, it seems to be. I mean, it's they're both. You know, it's it's hard to say one's better than the other, but uh, whatever's more effective, uh, I guess, for the fighter. Sambo, sambo is very a lot more aggressive. Sambo more aggressive. No, judo, no, judo number one. Judo <laughs> number yeah, one. judo's number one. <laughs> no, <laughs> judo no bad, no bad judo. No Ali bad. says it's judo combat one. sambo. In combat sambo, you know, you have uh, small gloves, you have shorts, and you 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 can you can punch, you can kick, you can take down, you can leg leg uh, leg locks, submission, choke, everything, everything. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it seems like a lot of guys like I know Josh Barnett's right. Barnett's into that. Uh, yeah, you uh, you know, it's, it's it's crazy the hybrid, and then Fedor. I mean, obviously mm-hmm. Fedor was you know. Great example of someone who used combat sambo and his brother and his brother uh, who I think is um, got some issues now. Uh, now, as far as uh, girls wise, so I know Khabib. I know that you're a, you're a good looking guy. You're you know you come over here. You're twenty two and zero. Are are like the chicks just flocking to you? Are you getting tons of tons of uh, Eastern European puss? I mean, what's what's going on? 
Hey, listen to me. <laughs> listen to me. I have I have wife, one and a half years. Oh, and con- congratulations. You know, I, and you know, I, I have wife, and uh, I, I, I think I'm a very loyal guy, I think. And my religion, same is no good. If you go party, if you go smoke, drink, woman, it's no good for me. And mm, I can't this. I can't this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sure there are a lot of women there very di- very disappointed. Maybe a lot of women like me, but, you know, but uh, it's not my style. A lot of women like you, but you have to turn them down. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I know out of all the girls at over at uh, American uh, uh, AKA, it's you and uh, out of all, out of all, all the guys that train there. Does Luke Rockhold, is he the guy that gets the most chicks? Uh, Luke Rockhold is Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> He's number one fight. You know, now he, this weekend he has a big fight versus Michael Bisping. I believe he knocked out first round and after that, uh, he is number one contender next year, middleweight division. And, you know, Luke, Luke Rockhold, uh, all the time I come, AK, okay, he's very helped me. This guy is a very loyal guy, very support guy. And I want to say good luck, my brother. I want you smash Michael Bisping at, and after you go title fight, I believe. Nice, nice, nice. Well, hey, Khabib, it was a, a pleasure to have you on the show, man. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Say hello, my dear. Uh, uh, Ali, let's let's get you on for a second, or a minute, or two minutes. I'm back. What's how, up, how, guys? How are you? So now you're 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 managing Khabib now. Yeah, Abby was my little brother, man. He's uh, he's been living with me here in Vegas for about three, four months. I'm helping him with his judo a little bit because he thinks wrestling is better than judo, but this is not the truth. Judo is the best. Uh, yes. Um, and uh, and we just been fun, man. You know, he's a good kid, very dedicated. I never seen anybody more dedicated. Him and Frankie Edgar is probably the most two dedicated people I ever met in my life. You know, that's great, man. You know, well, you know it's it's, it's the great. guy. The guy doesn't miss a beat, man. He have an ACL surgery. He, he he he's a whole course. Yeah, seems like it. Now, uh, uh, I got to ask you. Recently, um, GSP was in an interview and said that he's he was oh, with yeah. you in a car and saw a UFO. Man, listen, this thing happened like seven years ago, okay? And uh, it, was, it was, I think it was George, me, Rashad, and Mike Van Arsdell. Yeah. Was, I, I don't know if that was a UFO. I, I don't know, to be honest with you. But this thing was really, really close. And uh, it was a, a crazy shape in, in, uh, in the sky, you know? And uh, I didn't know what it was. And, you know, I never told nobody about it. And uh, crazy, George called me like a, one month, and he was in... He was his girlfriend or somebody. He's like, hey, Ali, what we see in New Mexico? And he said, they have somebody on speaker. And I explained what he said, because the, the people with him, they didn't believe him. They think he was crazy. But, you know, I don't want to talk about it because people already think I'm crazy. And if I say it, they're going to they're gonna confirm I'm crazy. But this is true. You know, it, it, it did happen. Rashad confirm it. George confirm it. I, conf- I confirm it. You know? Okay. I don't know if it was a UFO or what, but it was a... The craziest, biggest shape I ever seen. Can we confirm you know? how much alcohol was in <laughs> the car that day, or <laughs> in that car that day? Uh, one <laughs> thing about me, I never drink uh, liquor in my life. So you I, really I never, believe that, drink. like, it was an alien? Maybe it was a UFO. Maybe. Are you, yeah. I, I don't know what it was. I, it, I, it was right after training. Wow. Uh, it was right after training. Uh, it was just uh, it was, all right. It was, all it was, it was in New Mexico. <laughs> All it needs to be a UFO is an unidentified flying object. If they couldn't identify it, then it's a UFO. Like, I can't identify what that is. I, man, I'm, I'm Egyptian. I don't know what the UFO is. And when I first come here, I was living in Colorado spring for like many years, and people said they always saw him, but I never saw it. Did you sign the UFO uh, for the World Series of Fighting at the time or no? <laughs> No, I, I, have, I have to see his skills. I'm going to do a tryout for you. <laughs> By the way, congratulations on the World Series of Fighting. You guys are doing great, man. You guys are killing it. Uh, you got a big a big thing coming up, right? Big fight coming up? Yeah, we have three title fights. Uh, you know, uh, we're live on NBC Sports. We are on the same uh, same day as the UFC and uh, in Bellator. And I, I told everybody, you know... Our fight card, I think, is, is great. They showed DVR, 
the UFC and DVR Bellator and watch our fight card and the, <laughs> watch the UFC after and uh, Bellator. But we have three title fights. Um, David Brand versus Yushin Okami, uh, Jessica Aguilar versus Calendra, and Melvin Galar versus Justin Geshi. And it's going to be a firework. I'm excited. And it's going to be great, man. That's and great. Gonna be, you know, it's, it's a great night for MMA fan. You know, they have three shows. You get to watch the three of them. And if I was them, if you want to see knockout and finishes, you watch on tune, watch where it is, the Fighting 15 uh, in Tampa, Florida. And that's what you need to watch. And you can DVR all the other shows. Now, I was really happy that uh, my buddy Smilino won. He looked great. Smilino, yeah, man, he's, he's very, you know what, man? Uh, this kid is very, very talented, you know? And, uh, just nobody really want to give him the opportunity. And he have a little setback, but he, he's very young, man. And, uh, yeah. He never really have a, a big training camp. And uh, I'm looking forward to see how, how good he can develop, you know? And you guys just signed, uh, a, guy with, you guys just signed a guy with, with one leg, correct? Uh, you know what? That's not... Correct. That, oh. was a, that was a mistake. Uh, we used the local promoter down there, and he talked to the kid, and but uh, we did not sign this guy. I mean, he's not going to sign for us. But Are you us. interested in signing him? You know what? Um, I, I have no problem on signing guys. They can because he's a very good grappler. But to be honest with you, like they kind of we give Nick New the opportunity, and uh, Nick New fought on NBC, and kind of like a lot of the fans kind of give us uh, crap, you know. But I think everybody needs an opportunity. But I think this kid, maybe he needs to go out there and fight a couple more tough fights. And listen, if he can prove himself, I think anybody, everybody should give him an opportunity. Bellator, UFC, us. People like that need to be opportunity. Right. They need to get an opportunity, you know? No, I think, yeah, we were saying, uh, yeah, no, definitely. No, honestly, you guys... Uh you guys are putting on a really good fight. And then, uh, what's the name look great in your last J- Jake Shields got a, a, a really quick finish the last fight. Yeah, listen, J- J- Jake Shields, you know, he, he had the same game for the same year. You know, he dominated a lot of people. He dominated guys like uh, Tyrone Woodley, uh, Dan, Dan Henderson. You know, Jake Shields is a legend. You believe it or not, he beat a leg. He said, if you become a legend, you have to delete the legend. You know, he beat Carlos Condit. He beat Robbie Lawler. He beat, he beat all the top guys right now. Lucky enough, we have him, and uh, he's he probably going to get the winner between Jake uh, Harris and Fitch. Are you concerned you know? that you're signing too many fighters? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not signing any more fighters. We just have enough guys right now to keep it going, and uh, we good. Hey, I want to ask a question. The girl's on your show. She's a judo girl? Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, she's, she's a black belt in judo, uh, a, a second-degree black belt in judo. She's a uh, she's she's badass girl. She's uh, got a huge following. Huge following. Pe- people know her. Okay. I like judo people, man. I did judo for twenty two years, and uh, and uh, and I love judo. This is I like judo people. We're good people. I always cheer for Ronda. Always, always. <laughs> but no, but you said the judo people were mad at you or something, right? Didn't you say? Well, that? no, the USA judo community. They're not mad at me. It's just I could care less of what the fuck they're doing with their lives. Yeah, you know what? You know what? I, it's funny because um, I lived at the Olympic Training Center for uh, for five years. Uh, I training was 80. You know, I went to the Olympics in 96. And after that, I moved here. And I trained with, with a lot of the judo people, like Orlando, Orlando Fuentes, Brian. Uh, Orlando's Brian a man. Olsen, uh, Atu Han and all those guys, and Rick Han. And we all trained together. And I'll tell you something, man. When I first moved to America, I did not speak a lick of second English. And uh, Ed, Ed Lady and all those guys, they took me under their wing. They got me a place to stay. And I trained with them for five years, man. And, uh, you know, when Hillary, was this? Can, I, uh, can you say again? 96? Yeah. Things have changed a lot for the worse. But you know what? I, I tell you something. These the judo guys, they're not taking care of the country. Like for Egypt, they pay for us for everything. Yep. These guys have to pay for us to go for tournaments. They have to pay for us for a lot of stuff. And when, when I was competing for Egypt, I, I was living like a king, but yeah. I come here, they, 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 uh, you, uh, the USAC provide you with, you know, food and housing, whatever, but they, they don't pay for nothing, man. No, they <laughs> and don't. a lot of the judo players, they just broke. Yeah, that's you know? why judo here, it's never going to thrive and it's never going to have a, a good audi- audience because the country yeah, doesn't yeah, value it. have a lot it. of good coaches. I, I think it's a lot of, like, Eddie is a great coach. I think Jimmy Peters is a great coach. You have a lot, a lot of good coaches. And I think if that government, you know, the U.S. government, it doesn't sponsor the U.S. Olympic Committee. It's a private sponsor. And I think if the U.S. government get behind it, 
you're going to see Brazilian Olympic champ. Not, not just the judo program in the U.S. They did not. People do not help it. No, they don't. They, you know, the country. They don't even. They even behind. cancel the program. I think now at the Olympic training center. They don't even have program anymore. All right. Well, this is bitter judo talk here on the MMA Roasted podcast. <laughs> uh, I think it's still huge in Glendale, though. Uh, with the Armenians, they they seem to love judo. Uh, Carl Parisian. These guys like, like a Russian style judo, like mm. fire, 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 my Gary. <laughs> yeah, like Cuban Russian judo. Carl Parisian. Yeah. Although I gotta say, in MMA between Ronda and Hector Lombard, and I guess there's a kid from Australia fighting this week. That's huge. It's uh. An Olympian from Australia. Uh, he's a two-time Olympian in, in judo. Yeah. yeah, he's fighting this week. Zach something, uh, right? Mm. Uh, I don't know. We have him on. Uh, he's fighting the guy that was on our show two awesome. weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's, it seems like it's making a big comeback, or it's not. It's not like it went anywhere, but it's. You're still I think Ronda can beat some of the guys off thirty-five pounds. I really believe that. Really, you think? You, you honestly, you think Ronda could beat some thir- one thirty-five pounder men? Some of the guys, not the top guys. But but so I think Ronda can beat some. I I'm not just saying that. Ronda, you know, not like I know Ronda very well and stuff. But not a like great friends. Not like I'm kissing her butt. But it's like she's she's different level of athlete. She's mean. She's ferocious. I believe she can beat some of the guys at 135. I what guys? Huh? Well, uh, wait, which ones? I'm not gonna call their names. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> uh, how do you think she does against Brian Caraway? <laughs> huh? Against Brian Caraway, how do you think she does? Man, I'm not gonna put nobody on the spot. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I, 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 I know, I know. Ali, Ali, you're a great guy. It was a thanks for having you and Khabib on. That, Ali that, 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 was, that was so much fun. Uh, Thank you. Good, good luck with everything. Congratulations <laughs> with all your success. Nothing but the best for you and your family. It's a pleasure, man. It's an honor to have me on your show, guys. Always, I, I, I leave your show with a smile. You know who you need to get on your show. You need to get Hanzo Gracie on the show. That's what you need to get on. Yeah, we do. Anytime. Any, uh, do you, I'll, I'll call him. I'll call him. I'll let, I'll let him get on his show soon. Please. I love Hanzo. We'll, we, we'll, we'll have Hanzo on next week. Whenever Hanzo wants to come on, we're, we're having Hanzo Gracie. Gracie. You, you got it, brother. Got <laughs> All right, take care, guys. Bye-bye.